All right, 35 minutes later, we're we're live. Looks like are we live? It's been a while since I've streamed, so I actually don't know if I'm live or not. Oh, looks looks good. Looks all right to me. Uh, looks like. Oh, looks like uh, Moriarty won the coin toss, so he got first pick. He picked the Ryu. Um, Poulter responded with Hazuma and May, uh, and Moriarty has rounded out his roster with the Plague Knight and the Potemkin. Uh, we saw Moriarty like learning Plague Knight in the last tournament. So it's interesting to see that uh, he brought it out, and Poulter will round out his his uh, his roster with Chip. So it's going to be Ryu, Plague Knight, and Potemkin taking on Chip, May, and Hazama. Uh, again, this is going to be winners semifinals of the Just Grasp One. Tournament run by Otleo in the Breakfast Club Discord. It's me, CPAT. I mean, let's check the rules here. Um, The rules actually don't say. The rules don't don't say. The rules do say uh, flip for choice of first player. Um, that coin looked like very suspect. It was like on hell for the longest time and then went back to heaven. Um, anyway. Uh, it's going to be game one. It's a best of three set, I believe. Um, I don't even remember the rules of this tournament, I'll be honest with you. I think it's like season three or season seven, except you have to pick a season seven. Do not have to pick a season seven. I, I honestly don't remember. I'll be really, really honest. Anyway. Uh, looks like it's going to be the Plague Knight into the May. Oh man, I'm excited! I'm excited for the Plague Knight. Oh, we got uh, it's a little alternate art as well. Um, both these characters get a lot of a lot of big red numbers. May courtesy of her innate uh, Plague Knight courtesy of his Ultra Boosts. Um, and easy way, I guess, but mostly his Ultra Boosts. Uh. I'm excited to see this. Been been waiting like a month for this match or something. I don't know why. I'll be honest. I don't know why DQ is more handed out, but it is what it is. Look at this. Look at this uh, card background here. This is just something else. I mean, Moriarty had 35 minutes to come up with a card background, and he has not disappointed. Uh. So two relatively just like bonga bonga characters, I would say. Plague Knight. Um, course gets reloads uh, courtesy of I believe the boost of sta boost on staff of surging and chain reaction as well of course plague knight can tack on before hit and afters uh, to his attacks using his ua moriati will just prep and wear off and may of course uh, once she exceeds she draws a couple of cards and then she spends one force for plus two power on initiate so really just uh 
don't want, don't want to call it a brainless character, but let's be honest, May is a brainless character. Um, so let's see, let's see, what, let's see how things go here. We've been waiting like a month for this match, like I said. Uh, so hopefully, it does not disappoint. Uh, Pulsar, I don't think we've casted it in this tournament before. I've casted him in previous tournaments, but not in this one. It's going to be Blue Water, Blue Sky, plus one power, retreating two. Now, May does not have any moves that hits at range six, but notably, neither does Plague Knight. Plague Knight does have a card that hits at range five. It's long pitch. Uh, but May's cards, I believe, all hit uh, one through four. Like, Tatsugeki hits at four. Ursagawa Sparkle hits at four. Dolphin hits at four. Uh, Overhead Kids only hits at one. And Anchor Swing only hits at three. So, plus one power, and then retreat two. First, gets tacked, though. Um, of course, May does have charge, close three, you may spend more force down if you do strike. Uh, so May could have jumped in and struck there. Uh, but immediately gets teched by, uh, by Pulitzer here, uh, by Moriarty here. Nobody's spending a dive. Dive's really good. Dive's a, just a good card to tack on to, to Plague Knight things, so it's kind of sad to see one go down so early. Uh, it's gonna be the Let's Rock boosted for May. Uh, now draw one, hit plus one power at this tier gauge. Of course, again, May cannot hit a range six, but neither can play knights. Uh, but Pulsar prob probably setting up for this uh, close three, spend no force to strike boost. Um, but setting up range six so he can't be struck uh, on his turn as uh, these card backs are starting to get a little shratty, I'll be honest with you. Uh, let's see how Moriarty responds to this. Spots this with a bait bomb, so just uh, a neutral turn here. Look at the top three cards of your deck, add one to your hand, and one to your gauge. Uh, does spend a force for this, but uh, basically just gets a key charge and then like a change cards too on it as well. Okay, adds the long pitch to gauge, interestingly enough. Uh, we'll draw one, we'll, we'll pull one card in hand, and then we'll draw the third, we'll draw the final card at end of turn. Uh, it's gonna be May boosting the Faultless Defense now as well. Uh, this screams to Plague, like, hey, you really want to be, uh, empty striking here. Just to get rid of these boosts, because the plus four, this plus four guard will hit Gage at sort of turn. May cannot hit, so this left rock won't hit Gage either. Uh... Maybe it's not a bad turn for Plague to just empty strike with something. And yeah, and it's going to be Plague Knight just initiating with a Wild Swing. Uh, as long as it's not Assault or Dive, it's totally fine. Poulter opting for like a very... Like, setting, setting the mood for this match by retreating to range 6 almost immediately. Moriarty looks at his wild swing. Let's see how Pulse responds here. Like, do you spend a sweep like? Do you spend a card to potentially move in is another option? But then risk getting hits. A uh, number of ways Moriarty uh, Poulter could play this. Could just wild swing. It's going to be actually. Ooh, May spends a sweep. Playing wild swings the assault, so moves into range four. Those boosts are gone for May, but it is now Pulsar's turn. Uh, range 4. The range 4 options for May are the Mr. Dolphin, the Tatsugeki, and the Ursagawa Sparkle. As we see the Disaster of Passion boosted. And immediately counter boosted with the Serum Supernus. This is going to be Moriarty going plus 1 power, plus 1 speed, plus 2 armor over his opponent from range 4, however. Um, looks like... Moria just deciding how to spend this. Uh, use a triple dose, a long pitch, and a giant bomb to do so. Sets an EX attack. And discards that final card for the UA, probably, right? Yeah, discards that final card for the UA. Uh, so Tachyon dive to this attack. So as before advance 3... Uh, on his attack, plus one power, plus one speed over his opponent, with a little bit of armor as well. Uh, I wonder if this is 
Staff of Surging. What if it's Staff of Surging? Uh, trying to stun an opponent to draw some cards, because otherwise Moriarty is kind of in deep trouble as far as the resource game is concerned. And we saw Chain Reaction go down, so it's, we know it's not EX Chain Reaction. So I'm thinking this is EX Staff of Surging. Uh, it's a little bit concerning the Pulsar's not matter. Like, I feel like this is like the turn you mash block and then suddenly Plague is just so far behind. Um, so I'm really surprised to see Pulsar not just mashing block here. Can't get spiked, right, um, with the before advance three. So I'm really, so I'm really a little bit concerned for Pulsar here. Not mashing the block immediately. I mean, that's something you gotta do into the Plague Knight. Uh, is have those blocks ready. Okay, and there's the block. And it's it's sweep, so that's gonna be big boy sweep. That's what nine power, nine power sweep. Um, I guess Moriarty's response to the uh, to the resource game is just, hey, I'm just gonna deprive my opponent of resources as well. Uh, so let's see. So far, Pulsar has two armor, uh, just innate armor from the block. That's four armor, that's six armor. And it looks like Pulsar will just take the three. So three cards up on Moriarty uh, at this juncture. And spends one more card uh, just to nullify two extra damage. Oh, did not mean to press that. That's going to be the energetic boosted. That's going to be plus one speed, now advance one. Moriarty just goes ahead and uses uh, his turn to exceed. Uh, so now play can discard up to two cards uh, for before hit and after triggers. It's going to be the go, boost it, discard your hand, draw forward, strike. Strike with the single card, plus one speed. Oh, hoo -hoo. Wild Swing Grass calls out the undercurve. Tatsugeki um, may put back into the corner. <laughs> Uh, Pulsar taking a little bit of risk there, uh, initiating the Undercut Tatsugeki, but, uh, does not pan out for him as the Wild Swing Grass puts May back into the corner. Pulsar immediately changes cards three. Plague Knight preps back up to five, so both players now have ample hand sizes. Uh, after Moriarty spent, uh, like, that really risky turn, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a badass cancel strike. Uh, badass... Tatsugeki is going to be 5 power. Focus will take 3, and then Focus will obviously go back, go ahead and hit back for 3. Uh, May gets advantage off that. Uh, May goes gauge neutral on that, because May did spend a force to cancel it. Uh, 6 speed Tatsugeki there. It looks like with advantage, Polter will just prep. We're going to see the Fierce come out. That's plus 2 power for Plague Knights. Second Grasp down. Uh, for play here. Uh, as fast as range one attack would be that speed six. Gets teched, though, by... Excuse me, gets Ukamid by May. No cancel. Moriarty will just prep. Uh, he's feeling pretty set up here. Uh, using the second copy of Energetic is Poulter to get out of the corner. Once more. It's going to be plus three power, now strike. The Berserker's Brew, right? Setting another EX. Uh, wonder if this is... I mean, wonder if this is EX... Uh, Staff of Surging? EX Staff of Surging does get called out, though, by Grasp. Um, another tricky one. This could be EX Giant Bomb, I believe. Uh, which is the sweep like that, that uh, Plague Knight has. So a little bit of a nasty mix-up here between Staff of Surging and Giant Bomb. Again, you can just block it in theory, but uh, if, does Poulter even have the second block? He could have the second block, actually. He spent a lot of cards. And yeah, just spent the second block. Is that EX Staff of Surging at speed 7? Could have been called out by the grass, but no. Just 6 power. Uh, ignore guard. So Poulter will have to spend 2 force to uh, just not take any damage here. Drops a dust from hand... And drops a slash from hand to take no damage. Building up gauge number two. May needs three gauge to exceed, so two-thirds of the way there. 
Uh, so yeah, so far May has been able to weather the storm. I believe that's like three of the four ultras gone for Plague Knight here. It's gonna be May initiating strike here. Second focus, uh, but May just gets out of there with the cross. Plague will take one damage. Obviously, focus will miss. As May builds gauge number three, she also does have a mini reload on her exceed side. I believe she draws two in strikes. Um. Nobody, all of Maze range four options lose to giant bomb still. Unless it's unless it's a seven power dive. If it's seven power dive, then it doesn't. I don't know how. I don't think Polter's dives left though. It's gonna be change cards action here. Change cards using the gauge to draw three cards total, I believe. As Polter goes ahead, checks that discard. It's gonna be five in hand, four in deck for Plague Knight. A one in hand, five in deck for May. Although. They give May exceeds here. She'll draw up to four. She'll draw up to three, I believe. Uh, but so far, both these both these players uh, have big red numbers. But uh, having gone through the deck, no big red number strikes just yet. As uh, Polter was able to block both of Plague Knight's early uh, plus power plays. For those of you that have not been keeping up with YouTube, I've actually been playing a bunch of Exceed. Uh, I actually play this game now. If you guys are looking for Exceed gameplay to watch, uh, I do recommend my channel. My YouTube channel has, what, 60 episodes of CPAP Plays Exceed on the browser client as well. Uh, so it's rules enforced. Uh, very easy to watch. Uh, I hope you guys are into that as opposed to kind of the tabletop simulators. May just preps. It's going to be Plague Knight boosting Defend. Uh, but yeah, if you, guys are, if you guys are into more uh, Exceed gameplay, maybe looking for some Exceed to watch, especially because uh, this tournament had like a one-month break in the middle of it uh, due to... I, I don't know. I don't know why. But uh, due to circumstances. Uh, and if you guys are looking for more Exceed contest, may just press again. Uh, no readings involved for May, so can just draw, uh, or no readings for Plague Knight, excuse me, so May can just draw those less remaining cards. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are looking for more Exceed, uh, gameplay to watch, check out my YouTube channel. I got 60, 60 games on there, uh, looking to, looking to cast some more as well, like not looking to stop anytime soon. Looks like a card was dealt from the discard pile, one each to each player. Looks like that's been rectified. Yeah, it's five in hand, three in deck for Plague Knight, five in hand, one in deck for May. As both players now check Moriarty's discard. Uh, the second half of this game, I can tell you, is going to be way more explosive than the first half. It's going to be way more explosive. It's going to be May uh, Plague Boosting Cross running to range 1 with the defend up. Taco Bell ad before the stream. What's up, Tex? I've not had Taco Bell in a good amount of time, but I will say I am a Taco Bell appreciator for sure. I had Taco Bell in a couple of months. I actually probably should go to Taco Bell because um, 
So I'm going vegetarian for Lent. Um, and Taco Bell's vegetarian is it's good, right? They just do the beans instead of the beef, and you're you're all set. So big fan, big fan of Taco Bell here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go this weekend or something. I don't know, the only thing is the the cost of fast food has gone up so much that I'd rather just go to like a like a natural restaurant, right? Instead of um, fast food, uh, just for get more bang for my buck and you know, I support the local businesses. They have some diabetic friendly stuff too, do they? I'm just happy they bought the um, the Mexican pizza back. I was a big Mexican pizza fan. Um, back in like when did they remove it, they removed it like before the pandemic, right? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, so we scramble cancel here for Poulter. Uh, yeah, perfect pitch is not going to do it. It's just going to be scramble cancel slash so. Uh, not the riskiest, because I think a lot of fast options are down for playing at this juncture. But, uh, yeah, perfect pitch, obviously not going to do anything at range one. Uh, it's just going to be three damage incoming to the perfect pitch, which is not stunned, but obviously doesn't have any uh, after effects either. <laughs> Both players have exactly one card left in their deck. As Borea yeah, just goes ahead and checks what his last card is. With permission from his opponents. You know, only 14 damage uh, dealt over the course of this game, but I have a feeling that's going to change very soon. Excuse me, I was just, uh, I'll be honest, I was checking my phone. It's not the most professional, but. I'll be honest, I was checking my phone. Oh, I left my volume on. Let's turn that off. I check my phone. But, uh, it's still Polter's turn here. Uh, three in hand, one in deck for Polter, like. We're really taking our time here. I guess, I mean... This is where you want to take your time, I guess. Um, but I will say it's funny that Poulter complains about, about slow players in queue in the browser. And then is playing at this, like, glacial place, pace, but, uh... This is the time to, this is the time to play at that, uh, glacial pace, right? So... Uh, I mean, you're on winner's side, so you still can't afford to lose the match, but obviously you don't want to drop into that Luge's bracket. Yeah, uh, so Moriarty started playing Plague in the last tournament, I believe it was Chimera's Summer Bash. He brought Plague. Um... Was it Chimera Summer Bash, or was it a different tournament? Yeah, he started playing, he started playing Plague. Um, Moriarty is definitely a, a more... Offensively oriented uh, player. 
so I think Plague definitely fits his style. It was a little bit rough in his first tournament. I think he got some of his timings wrong. Uh, and some of his economic choices were a little bit poor. But I think uh, I think he's learned from that tournament and has moved past those issues. And so far, his Plague has looked all right. Um, but yeah, for, just, for those of you just joining us, it's going to be Moriarty, bottom half of your screen, red side. I uh, use brought Ryu and Potemkin alongside the Plague, and Poulter uh, alongside the May has Hazama and Chip. Have we officially hashtag made it now that we have uh, we have the bots, the bots in our channel? Like we've officially made it. So can I say this is like Ishe levels of of slow play here from Poulter? This is like a five minute turn. It's going to be big change cards. Change card 6, drawing 7, remaining on front side May. Remaining on front side May. So draws the wonderful dynamic Goshigawara. It will draw 6 more from the deck, from a fresh deck. That is like, yeah, it's like e shade levels of slow play. Coming out from Poulter here. But uh, we, we respect it, we respect it. It's just going to be a uh, boosting of Spike here for Plague Knights. Reveals his hand of 5-6, Giant Bomb, Chain Reaction, Castle Crasher. So it does have the Serum Superness if he wants it. Uh... It's going to be May boosting Faultless Defense plus 4 Guard. As Poulter just notes down what cards are in Plague's hand at this moment. Fortunately, didn't get value out of that fourth Ultra um, before the reshuffle. Although, it looks like maybe Poulter thinking of striking here. Hmm. Unfortunately, doesn't have enough force to... To... Uh, play the Serum Supernus without Wild Swinging. Ooh, it's gonna be Plague drops an Assault and drops the Chain Reaction on this strike. So as before, close two, has hit gain advantage, has after uh, dropped a four. And what were the remaining cards? Giant Bomb. So it's a Giant Bomb, basically. Uh, giant Bomb or Cross, I guess. One of the two. I mean, but a before close to sweep like is decent. As it's going to be the overhead kiss call out. And it calls out the giant bomb. So May does have that, uh, that range one SPD shape. Calls out the giant bomb. Uh, that'll just be four straight damage coming through. And Plague is stunned. Not only is Plague stunned, Plague is down to that hand of just Cross and Castle Crasher. It's going to be Poulter boosting the Disaster Passion. It's plus one power, plus one speed. Now draw one. Very, very good boost. I imagine Plague just has to change cards here or something. Or prep. Us for the prepare option instead. I would probably want to change cards. Be change cards three, draw four. But uh, no, ops for the prepare. Back to Bay here. May with the life lead for the first time in this game. Plus one, plus one at range three, just screams, head, just strike, right? Uh, so wouldn't be surprised if May just swings here. I 
Especially with Plague only drawing two off the top. Looks like Pulsar maybe is thinking about sending an EX. Uh, this EX is relatively unknown. It's just not EX Spike. Yep, and sets that EX. Uh, we're looking at EX Assault, which is like 7 speed, 6 power. We're looking at EX Dive. Oh, and spends for plus 1 power as well. So this could be something like an 8 power EX Dive at 5 speed. At 6 speed, excuse me. Um, and there's really not a whole lot you could do about that if you're playing. This could be 7 power EX Assault, and the only thing you could do if you're playing is focus it. Uh, crossing it is almost certainly out of the issue. And Plague just goes for the Wild Swing. Uh, it's actually going to be EX Ursagawa Sparkle. Uh, Dive will get stunned out, though. Ursagawa Sparkle is, what, 4, 5, 6 total damage? As after close, one draw, one on it. Uh, it has 3 armor, just in case uh, it was counterattacked. But Plague obviously gets stunned out as the Wild Swing Dive doesn't work out. And that's why I would prefer the change cards over the prepare action there for Moriarty. On that last turn, just to dig a little bit deeper through that deck, maybe find an option that deals with that. Maybe find a block or something, I don't know. Um, but not meant to be. As Moriarty just preps once more, it's back to May here. May gonna go ahead, boost Blue Water, Blue Sky, crossing over to short side of the board. Um, but taking that range one with plus one power. Uh, it's gonna be play boosting light, that's plus two speed, threatening... Of course, the 8 speed ignore guard option and staff surging, but immediately gets teched. Uh, Ukemi then will be cancelled, most likely, as Poulter hovers over that discard. Maybe looking to cancel this Ukemi. And. Really think about it. Oh, puts it back and just ends. Oh, okay. And ends his turn. Okay. Seems alright, but. So that's the plus one power over Plague. Can turn that into plus two power with the UA. It's going to be Plague boosting Defend. Plus one armor, plus three guard. Uh, counter counter anti that plus one power. So those are once again reliable for Plague Knights. Back to May here. I gotta say the uh, the slow play from the slow play from Poulter, really taking his time and finally coming to the decision to change cards there, actually paying off big time for for Poulter here, paying off bits big time. Uh, foregoing the UA, which I think a lot of um, a lot of players might have gone for. It looks like May maybe gearing up for a strike here. Has plus one power on the board. Two plagues plus one armor and three guard. Sets a singular card. Will tack on that plus one power. So it's going to be a plus two power now strike here for May. It's going to be an EX from Plague Knight with the UA. Tacking on before close two hit gain advantage. And... Moriarty says go again. Tax on after advance or retreat one. Are those helpful? It's EX cross, but it's a grasp from May. Oh no, it's going to be a speed tie here is May. Uh, oh, but yeah, this, never mind. This, it's, uh, this cross is before close to our end, so the cross will hit. Um, but that is a big investment there for... Uh, for Moriarty. Huge investment, right? Uh, so May will go first. It's 5 total power. Uh, EX Cross, of course, has 2 armor and 4 guard, so will not be stunned. Uh, Plague will take 3. Uh, that EX Cross will reposition, will obviously hit back. Um, Poulter does have a decision. He can either force Plague Knight to range 4. Uh, where he can jump to either 3 or 5. Or can go here, where Play Knight can cross over, take a long side of board, but stays at range 1. 
So it's going to be three total damage. Uh, Pulitzer will take four in response. And yeah. Uh, play will cross over and then retreat three. So it actually didn't matter. It actually didn't matter. Uh, it says Moriarty got the choice. It's Moriarty just discarding his cards in the right order. Looks good. Uh, playing down to just two cards in hand, but uh, at range four, it's going to be the Gatling boosted. That's now draw two Hickey advantage for May. So, Plague Knight is running out of time a little bit. Has 19 HP to go. To be the Frantic Research, now draw two cards, then strike after draw two cards. Range 4, of course, your main threat is the Long Pitch. Uh, Plague Knight using the UA, discarding the block. So, add this card has, after add this card to your gauge at the end of the strike, and has hit plus two power. Okay. Oh, but Pulitzer reveals block, and that's no good. That's no good. Uh, so this is, what, a 5-power long pitch? Uh, it does have after draw 2 on it. But uh, Poulter, Poulter getting these blocks at the right time. Uh, so yeah, this is it says hit, plus 2 power, and add to, after add this card to gauge at the end of the strike, which obviously would have happened anyway because of you hit. Anyway, uh, will Moriarty spend for plus one, plus two power? I doubt it. Uh, so just a five power long pitch incoming. Poulter negates it completely by discarding the Great Yamada attack. And Plague draws to courtesy of the Frantic Research. So that is now three big boy attacks. Well, I guess that wasn't really a big boy attack. But that is, that is a third attack blocked by Poulter here. Uh, that's how you beat Plague Knight, right? You beat Plague Knight with uh, timely blocks. Just making sure those... Uh, making sure you can mitigate at least uh, one or two or even three of those plus power now strike boosts. And Poulter doing a really good job here. Uh, with that. So May just preps. It's back to Plague Knight here. Plague Knight preps. Uh, so May is at seven, full hand, 7 cards in hand, 12 in deck. Plague Knight, 5 in hand, 12 in deck. <laughs> Plague Knight could just like lose by deck out even in this game. Still has to deal 19 damage. But Plague goes through that deck super fast. As it's back to May here. Range 4 again. She's uh, kind of dominated by Long Pitch, although she can technically respond with the Orsagawa Sparkle, but it's not the best range for her. It's going to be May boosting charge. Close 3. Will she spend a force to strike? Spends a gauge to strike, even. Okay. As Poulter just takes a, takes a whiff of that discard. Adds plus one power on this, and strikes with a single card. That's going to be focused, it's going to be actually focused for both players. Uh, so Poulter's focus will do three damage, Moriarty's focus will do two damage. And Poulter has decided, yeah, I don't need backside to win this game. I'm just going to I'm just gonna keep all the cards in my hand that I can. Uh, focus is a little bit sad for Plague to defend with, just because maybe... There maybe there's a world where Plague's only win con is actually reading, especially with Poulter keeping a full hand. Uh, but one focus down already is a little bit sad for Plague, I think. Good card, structure in hand, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Poulter really liking his cards in hand. Uh, but also it's probably identified that he doesn't need the plus two power to win the game. In his in his eyes. Let's see if he's right.
As Moriarty checks the Poulter's discard here. Both players keeping good a good eye on each other's options. And it's gonna be Perry. Perry whiffs, however, so we see a hand of zero five five six seven Tatsugeki. Wow, that is a handful of old, that is a handful of normals. Wouldn't be surprised uh, to see Perry Focus come out here, just to just to keep things safe for Plague, uh, just to keep things safe for May. Excuse me. Yeah, well, there, there's your answer as to why May wanted to keep that hand, right? There's your answer. As I think Plague has one reading left. I think. You could see... I mean, if Polter really wanted to accelerate this game, he could area shift Plague to three and then cancel Strike with the Ixis Assault. That's an idea. It's not a bad idea, actually. That's a pretty good idea. Just, I, I wonder if Plague has access to Ix Assault. I don't remember. But, or Ix Assault, and I wouldn't even do it. It would be EX on... Um, oh no, Plague doesn't have an EX. Uh, at speed 6, range 3. My bad. We'll just need Sweeper Focus. Yeah, honestly, that seems like a winning line for Bolter. I wonder if he chooses to take it. Seems like a fairly good line. Like EX Assault into Grasp is what? How much power? 5, 8 power? So any amount of armor does mean that it's not a kill, but... I mean, if you're armoring through, you can... <laughs> Pulitzer can even mix it up with like EX Assault into just playing a range 1 Tatsugeki. That'd be pretty spicy. And I think would do good here. Uh, let's see if Pulitzer wants to finally convert those uh, that big hand into cards. Uh, no, it's just going to be Parry here. Going for the slower option here. Parrying focus, I'm assuming. Parry whiffs, we see a hand of Castle Crasher, Perfect Pitch, EX Grasp, Chain Reaction. Sure, that's a hand. Uh, no parry, though, means that... Poulter's hand was just full of fasts. Moriarty could could have struck there. Moriarty, Moriarty could have struck there, and reloaded with the with, reloaded with the chain reaction. And that damage would have been pretty free. So I'm surprised to see Moriarty just prepare there. I'm surprised to see Moriarty just prepare there because we saw Poster's hand. It was full of fasts. Did not have a slow to his name. I think with this kind of health deficit, seven to seventeen, you have to take a risk. You have to take a risk, and the risk that you take there, I think is that Poulter doesn't draw a slow in his top two cards. I think that's a risk you take. I think you strike with a Castle Crasher boost, something, to try to equalize these health totals, because you are so far behind. You Like, you are too... You are fees, even though you're playing Plague Knight, you are feasibly two combats behind right now. And I think Moriarty needed to do something there, but unfortunately, uh, not meant to be. And yeah, here's that play that we were talking about earlier. The Area Shift Cancel, strike with EX Assault. We did see Express in the hand, so um, that the follow play doesn't actually work, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, major striker with the EX here. I mean, EX Assault. Could be EX Tatsugeki, I guess, if the second Tatsugeki was drawn, but it's the same thing. 
Uh, will May spend for power? Looks like she doesn't. Okay, it's going to be Plague Knight using the UA, so maybe trying to beat, uh, beat Tribute this move. Discards a Grasp and has hit plus two power on it. Okay, it's a it's an eight power sweep. Unfortunately, the Grasp discard is bad because now Poulter can just strike with a single Grasp, although um, Plague will be able to push her pull here. And the grass match against Yorick from May's hand, funnily enough. Uh, so this attack is before push or pull two. Play, of course, chooses to push one to where his uh, plus his DP works. Perfect pitch. Uh, May's hand is what? Tatsugeki and one unknown card. That's just going to be the relentless boost. Relentless boosted plus one power plus four guard. Fierce boosted for. Uh, for Plague here. It's not over yet, but, I mean, it's still going to take two combats for Plague to win. It's still going to take two combats. Unless we see some, some big, some big play. Like, Poulter draws a spike and just lets, lets an Ultra Boost rip. Right. Poulter... If if Moriarty does that, then he's in. Oh no! But it's gonna be a it's gonna be a flawless defense cancel. This is gonna be eight total guard. And May just goes at strikes with that last card in hand. Perfect pitch is not gonna do it here. This is eight total guard. Uh, perfect pitch only has five total power on it. Uh, this is Screaming, like Tatsugeki, Assault, Dive, one of those cards. I don't know if it... I don't think it can be the second Spike. But, um... Moriarty does have Ample Force. So the thing is, Moriarty, if he has, like, a Dive in hand, he could pair the Perfect Pitch with a Dive and then Dive over. Um... And then he'd actually be in like a position to win, right? He'd be in a he'd be in a he'd be in a really good position to win on like weirdly enough. Um that's like that's why you guys save your dives on, on Plague Knight, right? I mean pairing a dive with a DP is just kinda OP. It's gonna be it's gonna be a wild swing for Plague Knight. It's gonna be the Tatsugeki. Uh, triple dose is not going to do it. Staff of surging is not going to do it either. That's going to be game one going to May. Uh, as yeah, it's like um, Moriarty reveals a hand, a perfect pitch, long pitch, chain reaction, and um, okay. Well, first off, Moriarty could have. Okay, Moriarty could have broken this. Where I could have broken this, he could have broken the Tatsugeki, Tatsugeki's Tatsugeki eight guard with the exchain reaction, discard perfect pitch, long pitch, and fierce. Why did he not do? That's just a misplay. That's just a misplay. Oh no, Moriarty could have broken that guard. A, a tinge of twins. You're, yeah, exactly. He could have broken that guard with nine power chain reaction. That's just a throw. Oh no, he could have done it. He could have done it. He could have just. He just had to believe. He just had to believe it was slower than speed six. And I think you just have to go for it in that situation. Speed six is pretty pretty fast. It's on curve. Has your after draw four reload on as well? Oh no, that is so unfortunate. Poulter Poulter got away with one there. Poulter got away with one there. Moriarty could have Moriarty could have played nine power ex chain reaction, but chose not to. Chose not to. And technically, technically, um, it would have lost if um, if Pulsar had played like sweep or something, right? But like, I don't know. It's just so telegraphed there. With the with the plus four guard, right? Like you're screaming to your opponent, like, "Hey, 
I don't have enough guard when you spike when you dust cancel there. So I think you go for it. I think you gotta go for that that ex chain reaction there. But anyway, that's gonna be one zero for Polter. Of course, this is a best of three match. That's gonna be Polter bring out the Hazamo next. And for Moriarty, he's gonna be bring out the Potemkin. Okay, wow. So staking staking the uh, the winners finals on Potemkin is Moriarty here. He appears to be missing a card. Oh, he's kind of he's kind of screwed things up with his deck thing. He's like really screwed things up. Okay, there we go. Now he's got his deck ready. That's be 1-0 in favor of Polter Ghost. Moriarty can choose first or second. Rocker the Potemkin into the Hazama. Um, the one thing I could say in Polter's own lineup is May Hazama and Chip. And for Moriarty, it is Ryu, Plague Knight, and Potemkin. One thing I can say is that while Hasma is a real menace at three, Potemkin can kind of get in there. I feel like, like Hasma's gonna have to hit a Hasma's gonna have to hit those spikes, um, because Hasma is not the highest damage character outside of his ultras, right? So, uh, Eternal so close that the Dragon Serpent can do eight, and that's generally enough. Serpent's in front of Roger can do seven, and like that's enough on offense. But like outside of that, like this is this is gonna be your key card of the matchup, right? So this and Spike. Uh Hasma's gonna have to hit this. Uh and he's gonna be in great position to win the game. But if the Devouring Fangs whiff, if the spikes whiff, then uh Hasma could be in real trouble. Of course Hasma is like incredibly privileged to have a six power ignore armor on a special, like that's just dumb. I don't know why this... I don't know... Well, I don't know why half of Hasma was printed, I'll be honest with you. But, uh... Come on, man. Who who, who thought this was... Come on. Come on! Like, come on. Who thought this was balanced? Like, come on. Anyway. Enough uh, complaining about Hasma. It's gonna be the Burly Heart boosted. Uh, if Potemkin initiates the plus two power. If... Hasma initiates his plus three armor. Now close one. Uh, Moriarty's third is Ryu. Good old Ryu. But like, come on. This character is just incredibly privileged. As I just muttered myself about season five, it's gonna be the draw three inch strike from Polter. Just uh classic stuff, classic Cosmo stuff. Of course, uh Burly Heart's gonna be a thing. Plus three armor. Wonder if it's worth Ouroborosing to two for Hazma to threaten the ignore armor option. Does cost a four speed, it just draw three. Okay, so spends the grasp, presumably for the Ouroboros. Probably gonna plop that Ouroboros down to two. Plops the Ouroboros at four. Oh, this feels fake now. This doesn't feel real. Plops the Ouroboros at four. Why? Why, 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 why? Oh, this now this just feels like they fake a Ouroboros now. Plopping the Ouroboros at four. What popping the Ouroboros at four playing Venom Sword? Takes the Ouroboros back, places it, replaces it at four, takes it back, replaces it at four, takes it back, replaces it at four. Yeah, it feels like fake and spike. I agree with you. Spike Venom Sword mix up, yeah, I guess. Takes it at four, places it at two, and now strikes. 
Potemkin, with the EX Dust on response, calls out the Rising Fang. Wow. I mean, not quite a spike, but it'll do, it'll do the trick. Uh, Ouroboros was real, so Hazma pops up at range 2, and then goes ahead, hits for 6. That's me, uh, Kara Cancel. Care cancel wild swing. Close one, draw one, wild swing. As Poulter has yet to take the damage from that spike. <laughs> wild swing slide head will catch the cross. Uh, so, of course, cross will go first. Hit for, what, one. Uh, as Potemkin has two armor. Slide head will go ahead, hit back for one as well. Why don't hit? Why what don't hit? Uh, discards the dive from the hand. As Hazuma now goes for the wild swing. Second slide head. Hung uh, hungry coils old hungry coils will do something. It'll hit for two. Well, yoink a card, will get advantage. Both players actually lose a block in that exchange as both players discard a card at random. Hazma will gain advantage at range 1. Yeah, he just didn't take the 6 damage. It was mental damage. It was a lot of mental damage that he took first, and then he took the 6. Uh, both players drop a block. Uh, Hazma at range 1, though. With advantage. In the corner. This is not... This is the wrong part of town. This is not the correct part of town to be in. It's gonna be the bloody fangs boot. It's gonna be the bloody fangs boosted. We're boosting or ignore armor. As Potemkin just wild swings. Ex assault beats out the regular assault. Wow, and the stun goes off. So this is gonna be a draw too. Moriarty really staking his uh. Moriarty really really staking his tournament life on a wild swing Potemkin. This is this is bananas. As uh, Serpent's Redemption get boosted, as Hazma gets out of the corner. It's be close one, draw one. Care cancel. Cancels it into the wild swing. What is this? Just. Just range one wild swing. Is Moriarty Hot Girl IRL? Because I've seen Hot Girl IRL pull these strats. I've seen Hot Girl IRL pull these strats on the. On the, on the browser. Hazma crosses out. Potemkin Buster not gonna do it. Is Hazma gonna overdrive? He has four gauge already. That overdrive is looking pretty decent. That overdrive is looking pretty decent here. Don't have a whole lot of force for your ultra. Yeah, no spikes left in Potemkin's deck. As both players prep. Like, I can't believe you're really staking your tournament life on front side Wild Swing Potemkin of all characters. It's going to be a prep again for Asma. Uh Heat Knuckle pushes, put, or pulls Potemkin to range 3 with the engage. Hazma, of course, now does have the, the adequate amount of force for a card like Eternal Cause of the Dragon Serpent to do 8 and just ruin Potemkin's day. Serpent's Benediction, your force costs are reduced by one. You may strike if you do. The opponent sets their card first. Remember, one slashes down from Potemkin. Sets a singular card. And it's going to be the Falling Fang. But Falling Fang does get called out by the Hammerfall somewhat here. So the Falling Fang will go first. We'll hit for two. The Hammerfall will go ahead and hit back for two. Uh, Potemkin comes into range one. That's going to be gauge number five for Hazma. Surprised to see no Ultra there. Surprised to see no um, Eternal Coils there, really. Maybe, maybe, uh, Poulter was trying to call it a block. But I was surprised to see no Coils there. Really surprised to see no Coils there. Now, a reminder, Potemkin, if Potemkin Wild Swings at range 1, Hazma does, I believe, have the second copy of Serpent's Infernal Rapture up. And yeah, you just saw Moriarty mouse over that card. Yeah, this game plan has not worked out for Moriarty in the slightest. Like, that Ultra will let Hazma win? Yeah. 
The Ultra means Potem can't, can't do this strategy anymore, I think. Anyway, it's going to be the second Serpent's Benediction boosted as Potemkin, once again, has to chase Hazma. Potem uh, ha Potemkin actually just preps, so Hazma gets a free strike with the with the Ouroboros for free if he wants it, and I think he will take that. I think he will take that. No Ouroboros, even though it's free. Uh, it's just to be a Wild Swing. It's just to be a Falling Fang. Mega Fist is not going to work out there. It's three damage. Again, the Ouroboros was free, but I guess who needs free Ouroboros when you just have cards that win combat? Technically, he should have Ouroboros to three to avoid the sweep, but I mean... Actually, yeah, yeah, he actually should have done that. It was just, just a misplay there for Polter, but... Not punished. Never punished. As Hasma builds cage number six. <laughs> like, just... Look at these cards. Two Falling Fangs. Double cross and assault and a hungry coils. <laughs> just ridiculous. That's uh, gonna be the engage boosted for uh for Potemkin. It's gonna be Shrek now for Hazma. I think this is gonna be the coils. Yeah, it is the coils. It's just that Hazma had so many fasts here that like Moriarty might have thought that Hazma would run out of fasts, but no, there's it's a it's a coils, just as we predicted. It's gonna be big damage. It's actually just going to be five damage coils, okay. Uh, but has enough gauge for a second coils, and this is just this is just this is just looking brutal. This game plan clearly uh, very feast or famine game plan for Moriarty, and right now it's looking way more famine than feast. I'll say that much. It's gonna be the FDB boosted for Potemkin. Uh, it's going to be a reading. Read the assault or dive. Dive gets red into the spike and oh, things go for bad to worse. Just reads the dive, plays the spike. Very, very simple stuff. It's going to be the Ironclad Faith plus four power. Uh, Potemkin finally at range one. Gets teched. <laughs> Well, Potem I mean, Potemkin, you can't really wild swing here. You're you're facing like Hasma has the second ultra. No, that's that's just throwing the game, my friend. That's just throwing the game. Uh yeah. I mean, that's just a concede right there, right? Just uh, wild swinging into the serpent's infernal rapture. Anyway, what was it like a wild swing hammer fall? So Potemkin does have two armor, lives on one HP. Uh, I stunned out. It's me having fun yet. Spends five force. Uh, so five cards will get discarded at random from Potemkin's hand, and this is just. That's just over. Drops the focus, a slash, a sweep. The block is down, and yeah, that's GG right there. The block is down, so that's GG. I'm assuming Hazma has the grasp. Hazma can even just like pass turn here, even. I just like Potemkin's Potemkin's whole economy is just crippled. I mean, this game is over. This game's over, but. Anyway, um. Once they once they finish the formalities here, as Polter checks for checkmates, doesn't actually find it. Okay, uh, this is gonna, this is gonna be a two zero win for Polter over Moriarty. I'm just gonna declare it here. Like, there's no way Potemkin makes this back. Um, it's gonna be two zero win for Potemkin, uh, for Polter over Moriarty. Excuse me. Uh, Polter will go on to winners finals where I believe he faces feathers. Moriarty will drop into loser's bracket where he faces someone... I don't know who he faces. Poltrus goes for the wild swing. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Alright. GG's. Uh, really? Oh, actually... 
Is that you, MC? MC download? Let's actually check that bracket. Just to make sure. Yeah. Uh, Moriarty will go on to losers where he will face MC download. Uh, Poulter moves on to winners finals. Uh, where we face feathers. But yeah. Uh, happy to see this tournament get back on its feet. Uh, it's been a month since, uh, it's been a month since we saw a game, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. It's been a while since I've done the commentary. Uh, if you did, you're on, you're on Twitch, feel free to follow. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. A lot of XC content on the channel, so... If you're worried about finding XC content, don't worry. There's 60 games of XC content on my channel of me playing XC even. So that's a little treat because I do some I do some dumb, dumb silly things sometimes. Uh, especially because I'm not playing tournaments. By the way, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, the tournament gameplay. And we'll see you for the next one whenever that may be. Uh, bye bye